another game here. Uh, all right, so it's actually Dragon's Lair. It's the opposite of whatever it shows. So no tower, but we do have catacombs. Our officer and healer are both not super exciting. Probably healer's better, which means I don't have to worry about defense. I think maybe Sacred Grove is the game plan here, because Hewer has good income for it, and so does... I mean, so does Fountain of Youth. I mean, both Treant and Fountain of Youth are reasonable, I think. Obviously, Treant is a creature for the Sacred Grove tab. I think I'll take Treant. Although it is, I mean, it is an expensive card. Uh, Celestial Horse is perfect for the Sacred Grove. I'm pretty happy to see that. Magical shard I'm happy with. Uh, cursed. I actually had guard dog as a defense card, but I don't need it with healer. So, just take cursed skull. With Catacombs in the game, I was hoping to get uh, Necromancer offered to me. Because uh, I think Catacombs is fun, but Sacred Grove is the likely game plan here. I assume someone else gets Catacombs, though. Catacombs is really good. I still don't know how to feel about Wind-Up Man. Um, I think it's mainly useful to multiply the amount of gold you have. But it might just be really good. I don't think I want... Well... Actually, I might... I think Chalice might actually be pretty reasonable. The fire is not useful, but... Uh, the untap on Sacred Grove is nice if I get to the point of having two creatures. So I think I'll actually take Chalice for that potential upside. I mean, worst case, I can just discard it for, for uh, Essence. I don't really care about Black, so I'll just take Water Dragon. So I ended up with two creatures. I would have to hit both creatures for the Chalice of Fire plan to make sense. It's not out of the question, though. I think usually you draw through your deck each game, so... I don't know. I, I will... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I play Chalice of Fire early on. I mean, I probably do. I probably just play out everything here. Uh, what magic item do I want? Uh, most likely research.
I mean, you can always get the untap in with reanimate. But what, what Chalice of Fire does also enable, even if you have reanimate, is if I only have one creature, then I can use one untap on Sacred Grove and the other untap on the creature to get a second point out of Sacred Grove in a turn. So I think even with reanimate existing, Chalice of Fire is still reasonable. It is kind of unfortunate that Cursed Skull converts green away into other essence because green is the uh, main thing I need for Sacred Grove, but I'll probably just have to accept that. There was maybe a case for uh, taking alchemy and then using alchemy plus a card discard to get to four for hanging gardens because i think hanging gardens is like not bad but i think it's worse than just playing out my artifacts Definitely want green. Okay, Hypnotic Basin punishes us for accumulating red. Although I'm not sure how much I can prevent that. Play Chalice. I wonder if I use the Chalice untap this turn. Uh, it, I mean. Technically, using it on Cursed Skull is positive value, but the problem is that it spends even more green. So, I'm not that excited about it. Let's see what I draw. I think I spend blue. Okay, Treant is... Uh, I think I would rather play Treant than Curse Skull if I have to choose. Can I actually even play Treant? Yeah, I can. So I have to discard Curse Skull. Get like two red, and then Magical Shark gives me green. I can play Treant. So yeah, that's actually really good. That's way better than Curse Skull. Play Magical Shard first, I guess. Now I'm slightly sad that I spent blue to draw instead of black, but... red if red gets uh three black with this and then doesn't spend it then 
I'm actually going to be able to get some pretty insane value off of Treant. I will end up with like a ton of red that I'm not spending, but I mean, can always get alchemy or transmutation. And I think most likely this game I go for Coral Castle as a follow up to Sacred Grove, which requires five red anyway. The only way uh, red spends any of their black is if... Actually, they don't even have a card to play. So yeah, I think I'm guaranteed to uh, be able to treant the three black and then chalice of fire the treant and get more red. There is definitely, though, a case for chalice of fire and research. to get to Sacred Grove sooner. Maybe that is better, actually. Feels pretty bad, though, to do that. I think I'm just going to go for the red. And then either Death Life for green or like Transmute. I think honestly Transmutation, even though it's like worse value. Celestial Horse is a pretty nice pickup. So that means... I mean, I have to... I play Celestial Horse this turn, and then next round I get Sacred Groove, I guess. Uh, I think I wait for Red to use their Jeweled Statuette to use my Treant. Yeah, I mean, red gets a ton of blue off of me. It's kind of difficult for them to spend it in a useful way, though. It's not that bad. And I can't really prevent it. Unless I want to buy like Cursed Forge or something. Actually, yeah, I mean, what I should have done, I should have transmuted turn one, three right away, so that they would have gotten less blue. So that was a mistake. But I mean the extra two blue probably isn't the extra three blue probably isn't that relevant. So yeah, let's do that now. And then I just want more green, I think.
I can technically Chalice of Fire Transmutation to turn four red into three of another resource, which is maybe good. Oh wow, Crypt as well. So they're definitely going for Catacombs. Uh, which means I should be able to get a lot of value to Treant. I think that means I... I mean, they can outstall me. I think I will untap transmutation though. I mean, hopefully they use one of the cards that gains black, but they shouldn't. Oh, wow, they did. Okay. Uh, I guess it's because they want even more value out of Hypnotic Basin, but I'm fine with that. I think I can use my red that I'm getting from this better than they can use the blue that they're getting from it. I maybe could have transmuted first, actually. That's probably better. Uh, let's get three blue. So yeah, I mean, red has a million blue now, but... It is hard for them to use it efficiently, and I'm an, I'm getting Sacred Grove next round and activating it uh, twice every turn with the Chalice of Fire. I actually have enough to buy this Dragon's Lair. I don't think I want it, though. So yeah, let's just pass and guarantee I get the Sacred Grove. Uh, research is fine, I guess. I think Bone Dragon will be a reasonable way to spend the black that I've accumulated. I think I, yeah, I definitely misplayed at least twice uh, with respect to playing around Hypnotic Basin. It's kind of hard to play around those cards, like Tree and Hypnotic Basin. So yeah, I mean, red I think is going catacombs, green I'm not sure what their plan is.
I mean, in theory, they could do Sacred Grove, but I'm beating them to it. Uh, let's get the fourth blue, and then two green. So I can buy Sacred Grove. Probably I'm supposed to research first, though, and like reduce the amount of red I have by one before they hypnotic base on me. And I think I can probably hold off on Treant because Red, I think, I mean, Red needs to get, I think, specifically Catacombs this turn, or else they're not really doing anything points-wise. And for them to get Catacombs, there has to be a point where they have at least 9 black, and I can just get the Red at that point. They can Hypnotic base in me after I do that, but, like, there's no efficient way for them to spend, like, 26 blue. Yeah, they're just gaining black now. I can still wait, though. I mean, they're going to crypt at some point. I can just do it after that. It's also hard for me to make use of the red, but... Not that hard. So, I think I can... Reason Sacred Groove now. Yours is, uh, I think, not incredible, but it is very nice security. Attacks are pretty bad this game with the uh, Eor and Guard Dog in play. All right, so now I pop the tree in. I mean, like, tree in, Chalice of Firing Treant was an option this turn, but it means one less point from Grove, and, uh... Oh, I guess... Yeah, well, so I can't actually get the two points with a Grove if I want to tap Treant for the nine red. So... I think that means I actually don't tap Treant for the nine red. So I'm essentially turning nine red into one point, which I think is a good conversion. Kind of a sad conversion, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think I don't use Treant. I think, I mean, I'm pretty confident that I win this game just by double activating Sacred Grove every turn, so I'm not going to, like, take risks and not do that. So, yeah, let's just, uh, you select your horse first, I guess. I'm getting two red a turn from Chalice of Fire anyway. I mean, one's getting spent on the Chalice of Fire activation, but... Like, I'll have enough red for Coral Castle.
Uh, also the fiery whip in play. Green, I think, is pretty aimless here. Uh, I I think they probably want Catacombs. And, I mean, Red is kind of giving them an opportunity to go for it, but... The problem is if they just, like, gain two black, then Red can just, like, transmute and beat them to the punch on Catacombs anyway. So... Not sure what their plan is. Uh, so let's spend the red now. Red would be, uh, I mean, Red would be winning if, uh, instead of Coral Castle, or actually, instead of Sacred Grove, we had the, the Sunken Ship, I think is the other side of Sacred Grove, whatever that one's called, because that one converts two blue and a green, green to a point, and so all they'd have to do is, like, get, uh, get green by whatever means, and essentially convert each green into a point, because they would have infinite blue. I think Green's not quite sure uh, how to proceed. Stormborn Fountain of Youth. Yeah, so getting a lot of... I mean, they can probably beat me to the punch on Coral Castle. But I think it's fine. Like, I can get it next round, I think. But they can beat me to it. I have other stuff to spend my uh, essence on, though, so it's fine. I probably buy Curse Forge this game as well. I could even buy it this turn. Uh, I think in any case I play Bone Dragon this turn though. Just for the point, the attack doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean it does literally nothing against green. And so it just makes red spend a black.
Uh, whatever, just activate this now. I can't decide if I'm supposed to play Water Dragon or not. I think I am. So maybe that means I get blue from Magical Shard. If I'm getting beaten to the punch on Coral Castle, I would like to get Cursed Forge, though. First, next round. But I guess I have the income for that anyway. Because I'm getting two red automatically, and then the third black. I mean, I could Magical Shard next turn for the third black, I guess. I think that means I do Magical Shard for third black this turn, though, because next round I'm a little bit worried about Green's ability to get Cursed Forge before me. It's like, I mean, I'm not going to be activating it, probably. Maybe I will. But, I mean, the main reason is just, like, one point for uh, some red and black that I'm not otherwise using. I think green does want Curse Forge though, so. Yeah, I will tap Magical Shark for third black this turn. Fiery Whip Crypt is kind of a wombo combo, I guess. Sort of. Uh, I'm not sure why they straighten that. Kind of weird. Let's go third black. They go for Dragon's Lair, interesting. And then I think I want to keep Water Dragon to play, like I said. It's like spending eight resources for a point, which is pretty reasonable given my situation. So let's pass, get first player, and take. Uh, reanimate. Is that useful? It lets me actually use Treant. So I guess. Yeah, I guess it's reanimate for a bunch of red. Although I'm not sure the red even matters. I can also use it to untap Sacred Grove and use the last tap of it to turn a blue into five green. Actually, yeah, maybe that... So maybe that's how I get Coral Castle. Well, if that's the case, I definitely want blue. And two blue from this. Uh, definitely leave. So yeah, I think that actually does work. So that would mean I... I mean, I definitely don't want Athenor anyway. But it would mean I... I guess green can just buy Coral Castle, though, if they want it. I think I still go for this anyway, in case they don't buy it. And I mean, worst case, I spend the blue and water dragon. This 
thing is, like, I mean, gr green can get Coral Castle, but it's not, like, it's not a points engine. And red has Dragon's Lair now, but unless the card they drew was a dragon, it doesn't actually gain them points directly. I mean, it gives them gold so they can buy some monuments, but... That was a way for them to dump some blue for points, which is nice for them. But it's their one card, so it's fine. And obviously the attack doesn't matter against me. Uh... There's no rush on Bone Dragon. They did not buy Coral Castle. So I am going to threaten it. Well, I guess this technically isn't even threatening it. I need their blue first. So let's get the blue first and see what they do. Because if, if they buy Coral Castle, then maybe I don't do the blue conversion to green with Sacred Grove. Maybe I do something else. I'm not sure what else I'm doing now. It would just be Treant, I guess. Uh, if The other nice thing about this, so, I mean, if green gets up to the point of being able to buy Cursed Forge, I can steal it from them. That said, uh, if I'm in a position to buy Coral Castle, I will just buy it, even if it sacrifices my ability to buy Cursed Forge. Because, I mean, Coral Castle is just more points. So, in fact, if they can buy Cursed Forge, I might just let them, if it means I get Coral Castle. Uh, okay, so they convert it to black, which means, I'm not sure what that means, but it means they're not getting Coral Castle, which is nice. So in that case, I, uh, yeah, I definitely do this. And then I still have two untaps for, uh, the two points. And I guess, I guess I'm winning this turn, actually, because Coral Castle puts me up to 8, and then two taps on Sacred Grove puts me up to 10, and then once I get there, I can immediately end the game by tapping Coral Castle. Red can't really do anything except for buy monuments, I think. I mean, they can get black and then get catacombs, which is reasonable. And then I guess they use alchemy to convert blue into gold. I think they're limited to one monument, though, this turn anyway, regardless of how much more gold they get. Well, that's not true. They could sacrifice Jeweled Statuette. And use Alchemy and Dwarven Pickaxe, and that puts them to 8 gold for 2 monuments. Or, it, I mean, it puts them to 8 gold for... Well, so yeah, they could just use Alchemy... Dwarven Pickaxe... No, they need to use Jeweled Statuette anyway. Jeweled Statuette, Alchemy, and then Golden Statue with the ability up would be 4 points. So basically they can get to 8.
and nine if they can play catacombs. I'm not sure how they get the last black, because... Oh, it would actually only be 8 points, because the golden statue line requires them destroying the jeweled statue up. But yeah, like, if they're destroying the jeweled statue up, then they only get 2 black from Crypt, and they're 1 black short on the catacombs. In any case, I mean, I don't think they can catch me, and I think they're guaranteed to beat green, so. Uh, okay, let's... So I don't care about anything that isn't getting me to the goal of Coral Castle tap to end the game. Problem is I can't get a place of power before you guys do. I needed Coral Castle. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it's too late. Like, the fact that I got Coral Castle makes it too late. If I didn't get Coral Castle, it would take me longer to win the game. I think green... I mean, I say green should have taken Coral Castle. If they take Coral Castle, they're still not, like, really progressing in the game. But it would mean that I take another turn to win, I think. And they could have gotten Coral Castle before me. So now I do the one of the untaps. They get some point to the curse forge. Yeah, that's a reasonable game plan. Although then they're not doing the golden statue thing, so I don't know. I feel like it just took them both too long to commit to catacombs. Like, I think both of them were capable of getting catacombs earlier than they did. And for whatever reason, they didn't go for it. Um, but that was, like, the main... The main way someone outscales me here. Or even, like, it's close. They can still take they can still take golden statue and sacrifice jeweled statue it to have the ability up. So if the monuments are bad, I think that's what they should do. I mean they don't have time for multiple activations of Curse Forge anyway at this point. They have time for yeah, they only have time for one. Well, no, they have time for two more. Uh, untap. I forgot about the first place token.
All right, pass. Uh, transmutation. I should have turned the castle. I meant to turn castle, but then I was like, oh, I'm supposed to pass, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter because Stride can't outscore me anyway, but... They get to eight points, I think. Yeah, they found the eight point line. I think that was the best they could do this turn. All right, that was not the most efficient way I could end ended that, but uh, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I think that was a that was a solid game. That was my first time doing Sacred Grove. Uh, future shenanigans, and the multiple untaps are definitely nice. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed.